Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to integrate a Clavio form to your Cargo 2 website. Spoiler, it won't work on Cargo 3 just because, well, I'll show you uh, why at the end of the video and give you some advice, probably it will be useful if you want to use any site service like mailing um, for your Cargo website. So we will be working with Cargo 2 and the service for uh, subscription and for forms uh, is called Clavio. And uh, I'll show you how to create uh, this dynamic pop-up uh, when you just enter the page. After a delay, you will see um, it like pops and yeah, you can close it and use the website as usual or you will be able to create just a static form uh, without any timer. So this is gonna be just a page with the form without any frames. So, okay, the first step is to go to Clavio and to create an account. Here is my account. This is Clavio. You can follow this link and uh, see uh, your dashboard. So after you create a dashboard, you first need to create a campaign. So I cannot create campaign since my account just um, is like a test account. And actually I cannot use a Clavio services. Uh, but yeah, after you create a campaign, you also need to connect it to a form. And here you can create a new Synap form. I already had a form. And um, if you click on the form, or actually if you create a new form, you can edit it. And uh, let me change something just to show you the difference, just to enable this publish changes button. All right, so now my changes are valid and I can copy this div tag. All right, uh, just copy this part and that's it. Uh, then. Uh, I'll leave you the link below this video to my code pen and first thing you ch to change you need to change this uh, div tag you just copied so that's it this is going to be my div tag your ID is going to be different and probably by the time you enter this code pen I will change this ID to something else like that just uh, because yeah I'm not going to use this form in the future this is just for educational purpose and that's it. So the first part is ready. And another part is uh, we just need to copy the script where to find it. So you can exit your form editor. Then you can uh, click this add forms to website button and copy the script. Then you need to provide the number of like, URL of your website and uh, check form installation. Uh, but only after you install the form, of course. So. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's go back to the code pen and that's it. So this is a script and you need to replace my script to, with your scripts. So this part is ready. You can immediately see this form pops up here. Please don't save this um, code pen uh, to your account just because, well, I think if you provide if you provide the URL of your website, it's supposed to be, uh, your form supposed to be working only on this URL. So be careful because probably it might be, it might lead to violation of some clever rules. So use it just, uh, use my code pen just as a template. So let's copy HTML part and then go to cargo website. All right, I've just created an empty page to show you how it works. But if you want to use this pop-up on your homepage, you need to do the same actions, but on your homepage, open your code view and paste your HTML here. So uh, if you have some other code, uh, you probably want to scroll down and paste this part at the very end or at the very beginning of your code. So now let's save it and refresh the page and you can see now that the form is working. So if you want to use this form as a part of your website, you don't really need a pop-up, that's it. So you can freely use it uh, however you want or style it on Clavio and that's how it works. Uh, but let me show you how to uh, make it uh, more dynamic and how to create a pop-up. Now let's deal with CSS. So this is our uh, CSS part and uh, let me show you which styles you can control. First of all, all these styles you can set in Clavio, but uh, if you go to Cargo, you can see that you can interact with some um, elements like you can type here. Do not do that. Uh, don't change anything. Um, like if, if you need to make some changes, just go to Clavio and do it there. But yeah, even though Cargo allows you to interact with these elements, uh, I recommend you do not do anything uh, in editor mode. So 
Yeah, just to test your form, go to a real website, open your link and try to test it, but do not uh, interact uh, in edit, uh, like an admin mode or do not change your styles or text here. So, uh, all right, uh, let's go back to um, our code pen and see what we can style. So I made a, a thing wrapper around this form and this is like a small box with a box shadow. If you go to line number 12, you can see like the box shadow. If you don't like it, it let's say you, if you have like colored background, you can just simply remove that and that's it. It's gonna look like that. Or you can use border, let's say one pixel solid black and instead of black you can uh, of course use any other color in rgba form or in hexadecimal form and here you see, can see the like um, small border uh, this is up to you um, which style to choose i'm going to keep my box shadow as it was before so that's it so this is one thing you can change. And another thing is max width. Remember that your website is being seen not only on your device, but on any other possible devices with uh, different screen sizes. So that's why you need to keep in mind that your form is, um, well, can get smaller. So that's why we can set this minimum width. But for maximum width, we just can control, uh, prevent it from growing on larger screens. And you can change it if it doesn't fit your form style let's say for to 600 this is how it looks now and i'm going to keep 500 because it looks fine for my form and that's it so all right these styles are ready and you can grab the rest of the styles without changing them and go back to cargo now open your code view again and create a new uh, style tag style this is how we open the tag and this is how we close the tag all right, and inside of this tag, you need to paste everything we've just copied. And okay, so let's save it and now let's deal with JavaScript part. Now, uh, let me open this part a little bit wider. So uh, we're gonna copy our JavaScript and go back to Cargo. Let's open Code View again and create a new tag beneath uh, these two tags which we've just created. So the tag is gonna be called script, uh, script. And this is the closing part. All right. And inside of the tag, we're going to paste everything you've just copied. So uh, you can change this value. This value means that your pop-up appears after one second, but you can change it to two seconds, three seconds, or whatever, uh, like whatever timer you want. So I'm going to use uh, one second and it won't be working on editor mode. But if I open direct link now, I can see that my form is working. So now you need to go to Clavio and confirm that your form is connected and that's it. You, you can uh, start using it. All right. And uh, if you uh, want to know why you cannot integrate this form for Cargo 3, so the answer is this script. So when we create like a script which um, is connected to any site services, Cargo is going to block it. I texted the, like their support and they said that only one way to integrate a form is via iframes. Uh, but when I texted Clavio about this way, like uh, about this issue, uh, to ask them if it's possible to use iframe instead of um, like this uh, div and this script tag. And they did not give me any proper response. So I recommend you just to search for another service, which actually can um, help you to create iframe to integrate on your Cargo 3 website. But that's it. This is all I can recommend you. And if you're still on Cargo 2, feel free to use my code. Um, don't, um, don't worry if you don't see this preview on uh, this template, just because I'm gonna remove some parts and uh, yeah, follow my channel to get more tutorials about Cargo Collective and goodbye.